All right, Wednesday practice and books. Kids uh, worked hard this week, so uh, got a tough ball game up in Philadelphia on Saturday. Um, you know, really uh, impressed with uh, just how the Temple team, have, you know, how Coach Drayton has uh, had them improving throughout the year. Uh, they had a tough, uh, tough game last week with Cincinnati, so I'm sure that they'll be uh, looking to, to, you know, play well Saturday, and uh, so it's going to be a challenging environment, challenging game for us. So. The guys are determined, and uh, you know we'll be ready to go up there and play well Saturday. Questions? Coach, you just walk us through the Thanksgiving schedule tomorrow, and kind of what you guys will do as a team. Well, we'll uh, we'll come in tomorrow morning, practice in the morning, and then um, we'll have Thanksgiving lunch uh, together uh, after practice. Okay, and then after that, the travel team guys they'll uh, stay in town and have uh, have some downtime tomorrow evening. Uh, the non-travel guys uh, will be, you know, they'll go home uh, to their families for the weekend, and uh, then Friday will be Friday. So, uh, you know, we get our work in in the morning, uh, have a little sharp practice tomorrow morning. Uh, the coaches will uh, stay after the uh, Thanksgiving deal, get everything wrapped up, make sure we're ready to go for Friday, uh, and then hopefully get home uh, tomorrow evening to have a little bit, of, a little bit of time with our family before taking off. Coach, you do anything different this week to kind of shake off the takes a Saturday or is everything pretty much standard operating procedure? Well, I think you have to, uh, you know, Sunday we try to take a really good look at uh, Saturday and see what happened and uh, what we need to correct. And, uh, you know, had a, uh, you know, I thought a good, good meeting with uh, our team. Uh, came out and have, had a, uh, you know, I thought a very uh, spirited Tuesday practice, which I thought was a good sign to get the week started. So, uh, you know, the big thing, you know, we have, Cut, we cut back a little bit today on time uh, just uh, to make sure that we're pretty fresh going into the weekend uh, and really want to have a sharp day tomorrow uh, to get ready for Friday. When you have a week like this where they only have two days of class, do the guys seem a little more focused knowing they don't have any study and homework to do? Well, um, you know, for them, it's, uh, you know, it's just, just one less distraction here uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. That's, that's probably the big thing. So, uh, you know, with the students not on campus, and it's just us. Uh, so it's, uh, you know, a little more, a little more focus on just football. We hear, a, we hear a lot of action coming in after practice. How have they responded since the loss on Saturday? Well, I, I addressed that just a second ago. Just uh, fought a very uh, spirited practice yesterday, uh, a lot of determination. And so uh, I think they've had a good start to the week. So she's Thanksgiving week games it can be kind of a mental challenge at times right. is that part of the challenge or is it maybe a good thing you are coming off like, i guess a game like that where you kind of have their attention in that regard well i think it's uh i think the challenge is the change of schedule uh and uh i do think it's uh you know something we've got to really be dialed in going into the weekend especially traveling um you know i'm sure that we'll have a uh, a group of pirate faithful uh, up there in philadelphia uh you know we had uh a great group out there and uh, uh, at BYU and Provo. So, uh, but uh, you know the guys, uh, you know they they're very very focused on making sure that we uh, play the way the Pirates play. Uh, yesterday, Shane Calhoun was just talking about with his you know blood family, I guess being a few states away, that this this football team kind of acts as his family. So, I guess I'm kind of curious from your aspect, like. At what point, what was the transition from it just being a job and uh, maybe becoming something more? Well, I think that's, that's why you got into it. You know, it's, you know, I didn't, my, my, my degrees in biology, I wasn't planning on being a coach. And, uh, but, uh, you know, my first year in, uh, I was hooked. And, uh, and it's, it's hooked more and more as the years have gone on, especially as a head coach. You know, it's, you know, yeah, we coach football, but, uh, you know, there's so many things that these guys go through, and you know, there's so many things that I I, I talk to them about. You know, my my calling is is how can I help them? You know, how can I be a supporter to them? How can I, uh, you know, when they need something, you know, how can I support them there? Um, and then how can I, you know, help try you know take an 18 year old you know kid and uh, make sure that when he leaves here, you know, he's uh, you know a guy that's you know prepared to be successful in life. And uh, it's, uh, it is, you know, that's, that's the special thing about what we do is, and it doesn't matter if you're a high school coach, you know, when I was coaching at Division II ball or, or now here at East Carolina, um, you know, you grow, you grow a real strong attachment uh, 
uh, to your players. And uh, and it's uh, and then there are times when you you know there's difficulties and adversity, uh, but you go through those things together. And uh, it's it's a it's a very rewarding uh, career from that standpoint. Coach, before you got here, uh, winning seasons were hard to come by. Saturday, if you win, it guarantees us a, a winning season. Could you just address how important that is to you and this program to at least finish with uh, an uptick like that and then have a winning season guaranteed? I think it's huge. You know, it's, it's what we all want. You know, it's uh, we all want uh, to go to bowl games, compete for championships, uh, winning seasons. You know, pirate football means a lot to us. It means a lot to those kids. And uh, so, you know, this game Saturday is uh, another opportunity to uh, go out and represent our institution, uh, compete on the on the field, and uh, you know, the goal is to go one and zero this week. And so, uh, that's uh, you know, it's a big deal to us. Anything else? Mike, that's it. What is Mike Houston's go-to Thanksgiving meal? <laughs> I'm pretty traditional. I, I love the turkey and turkey and dressing, and uh, I love the pies now, sweet potato pie and pumpkin pie. So, but uh, I don't know what Jake uh, has on the menu for tomorrow for lunch. But I know uh, my wife and uh, her family, and then my mom is on her way down. She comes down once a year, you know, for Thanksgiving. So I get to see her tomorrow, and so we'll have a, a family meal tomorrow night with uh, with our families. <laughs>